Okay, so this is Ringwalk Media in association with Wellice Therapy, Still Hub Management, and Barclay Carter Racing. What? Hello, hello. Says there, you're making a couple of quid, aren't you? Eh? No, I'm not. I'm not. But uh, it's good to see you, Eddie. A lot depot. I never get your name right. No, no. To be fair, look, it's not the easiest name. It's not like it's Clark or Smith or Henry or Adam. Oladipo is quite a difficult one to pronounce, so you're good. Unique. It's unique, it's beautiful, it's Nigerian, it says a lot. It's not about the beautiful bit, but beautiful. you aren't a bad looking lad, are you? The name's beautiful, not me, certainly not me, the name. <laughs> well, listen, here we are. This is now getting serious, mate. It's uh, press conference night. Uh, biggest card in probably 23 years. I mean, this is fantastic, isn't it? No, it is. Um, look, we're lucky. Look, we all love the sport of boxing. And when you come out here and you realise that we're on the cusp of something special, However the fight goes, right? We're here. We're here to witness something special. It's going to look good. It's going to be good. Well, listen, let's go straight in. Um, Kakacha versus Cordina. A fight that's kind of kept a little bit below the radar, but I know there's been a bit of shenanigans this week. Weights haven't been uh, great. Uh, what do you make of that fight? It's an interesting one, isn't it? Because if you're Cordina, A, you wanted to be out here, but he's wanted a big name. He's wanted a big name. There's been talks about him moving up to lightweight as well. And you can understand why he wants a big name. Um... The win over Agal was fantastic. The win over Rackham was fantastic. But you have to admit, his last performance wasn't. So I always feel like he steps up when the name's there, when the risk is in front of him. is almost middle ground. I think is a fantastic fighter, but he's just not been active enough. But now he's got a title. It's an opportunity. We've seen people over here in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, get opportunities and take them. Joseph Parker springs to mind immediately. So it's a good fight. It's a good fight. I spoke to Eddie about it yesterday. I said, look, how long has this fight been in the making? He's like, it's one that's been on the radar for about three or four years. But because of Kakachi's just inconsistency with fights, they've kind of left it alone. But it almost is the start of the Queen's reverses matchroom thing, really. So this is almost like the prelims. But um, look, Cordina, I think a big favourite. Um, both of them will struggle making Super Feather because both are so big. So that's going to be interesting with the IBF rehydration clause. But um, I like the fight. I think it's a good fight for a few rounds. I think the difference with this fight is Cordina, whether he wins or he loses, he's kind of kind of carry on and do what he does. He'll still have those world title opportunities, whether he wins or he loses. Um, Kakachi's got nothing to lose, and that makes him dangerous. Yeah, and look, what we have seen with um, with his excellency is that when he watches the fight, look, Mark Chamberlain is a good example. How how on earth is Mark Chamberlain his fa- his favourite fighter? Like, well, where's that come from? But he's watched him, he finds him exciting. So if you're Kakachi. It could be a case of not just winner stays on, but performer stays on. You look good, you're in for the next one. And look, none of us know his purse, but we know these kids are getting paid better than they get paid at home. Decent money. So if I'm Kikachi, there's a lot there. There's a world title. It's Cordina. Millions are going to watch it. I've been hearing it's co-main event now. So it's a big one. It's a big one for Kikachi. And I think, I don't think he'll win, but I think he'll deliver. I think he'll put in a good performance. Now listen, main event, we have to talk about it clearly. You've been talking about it all week. Yes, sir. I want to talk about the weights because about four weeks ago at the press conference in Morecambe, Tyson sort of let slip on purpose he was about 18 stone. I think he's gone back up. I think he's in the 19s now. Really? Yes. Now, I've had that on good authority. Okay. okay. Um, Usyk is about 16-ish. Yeah. So Usyk's gone up. Tyson's gone back to where he kind of is a bit more comfortable. Do you think he's kind of played into Tyson's hands a little bit there? I'm not sure. I, 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 I've always said I think the best Tyson that I've seen, and I know people will kind of point to the Wilder performances, but the best Tyson I've seen was that run when he fought Chisora, Christian Heyman and Vladimir Klitschko. I thought he was still a lot bigger than everyone, but he was so much lighter so he could move on his toes and bob around. I think we've seen the Tyson against Wilder, who's just straight in your face. Still good movement, but not like the Wilder, sorry, the Fury of a few years ago. So I like a lighter Fury. I think a lighter Fury is still the biggest heavyweight there is, apart from Zhili Zhang, but can still move. Can still move. He can go left and right. He can fight on the back foot. So I think Fury really should be looking at that eight and a half stone mark. As for Usyk, Usyk's always been around 220. 222, he's nailed that weight. If he has come bigger, I think it's a mistake. I think he's trying to do what Wilder did and fight, do the big, you know, trying to almost know he's going to get bullied and fight back. You can't fight back an eight and a half stone man. you just got to do what you do. So hopefully Team Usyk haven't made a mistake here because of the delays and putting on extra weight. Hopefully they are bang on 220 because that is the best Alexander Usyk. I think Tyson came down and he's obviously his nutritionist has worked well with him and he's gone back up. His muscle mass is phenomenal. Yeah. So 
although he is still looking slim and looking trim and moving probably quicker, he's gone back to a weight where he can be bloody dangerous. Yeah, and if he's dangerous and if he if he has that size, what, what one thing Fury does better than any big man boxer, maybe you have to go back to all the way to George Foreman, he uses his size. Like he, he imposes it, he puts it on you, he, he, he fights dirty, elbows, he'll lean all that weight on you. And I'm sorry, unless you are Gili Zhang, you ain't pushing him off because he's just too big. And I think he should play that size game. Play it. Use every advantage you can. Some people don't like it because it's, it's quite dirty boxing and it's the dark arts. But if you are that big, use it. And I think he's going to use it on Saturday. I mean, this whole spectacle, we've been here now, what, with, like yourself, probably for four or five days now. And it's phenomenal what they're doing for boxing. I know at the beginning, we were all a bit sceptical and it's like we're coming to Saudi Arabia. But this place is unreal, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look, we, we've, me and you have done, you, you longer, way longer than me have covered press conferences and grand arrivals and public workouts. And some of them, a man and his dog turns up and it's just a ring in a shopping centre and it is boring. This, I mean, this is incredible. And look, I know people will say, oh, but the numbers are not here and the atmosphere is not here. That takes time. When you're building a new market, it does take time. It could take years. But the fact is, they're putting the money in. The fighters, the most important people are getting paid. I don't mind coming over here and getting a bit darker on my skin. You top up in your tan sometimes. Burning me head, mate. I, I can see I can see the pink. But um, <laughs> Thanks for outing me like that. But, um, but no, look, it's nice to be out here. We've obviously covered all of them out here. And every time you come out here, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think they learn from the mistakes of the ones and try and improve on it. Um, I think it will be a sellout. Hopefully the atmosphere is good. Um, I think it will be. I think it'll be better this time. I've seen a few Brits have travelled over as well which I don't think they really did for AJ and Garner and the others. So I think it'll be fun. I think the thing I like is that now there are obviously diversions to other countries. There's the LA card coming up. There's talks of being in the UK at some point. So this isn't going to be just staying in, in Saudi Arabia, is it? No, no. And I think that's important. Um, look, as much as they have got more money than sense sometimes, you have to make a profit from these events. Like You can't just be throwing money down the drain. There has to be a business model behind it. And I think they realize in order to sell pay-per-views, you maybe do need to go to LA. You do need to kind of get the bums on seats, gate receipts, all those things count. Wembley, 90,000 gate receipts is going to be ridiculous. So yeah, I think it's good. I, I spoke to Eddie and Frank about this. I was like, will Turkey and Saudi invest their money in events not in Saudi? And I think the answer now is yes. LA in August, September, fingers crossed, AJ Fury, no rematch, September. Be nice, wouldn't it? Be lovely. Honestly, it'll be just... How long have we waited for that? Mate. Like, forever. Yeah, and if Fury does beat Usyk, it means he's right there. It's not like we don't know where he is. We know he's number one. And we're not quite sure of AJ yet because he hasn't fought elite guys, but physically he looks good. The Ben Davison thing's good. So, all of a sudden, it's actually bigger than ever, weirdly enough. And if they do win, there could be a couple of belts on the line as well. I don't think it'll be undisputed because I think the belts will scatter. But I'm... Look, I just pray to God somehow that fight happens. Well, so do we all. Listen, I know you've got lots to do. Um, but I've got, I've got one more question for you, sir. Um, Mike Tyson fighting Jake Paul. Right. Uh, I know what you're going to say, but I've got to ask you anyway. What do you make of it? Because, okay, exhibitions are fine, but they've sanctioned it as a professional boxing bout. Come on. Yeah, look, I don't like it. And, and there'll be some saying, Addy, come on, you've done Misfits and you covered the Misfits boxing. And, and yes, but... It's different, though. It is different, because I thought it was influencer versus influencer. You've not got Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet, even at 58 there, have you? No. And, he, and the fact is, he's 58. You just mentioned it. I mean... I wouldn't get in with him at 58. No, I, I wouldn't either, but... I mean, I remember when Mike fought Roy a few years back. And we, we saw... Remember, we started seeing those little clips come out. And he looked ferocious. And I was like, oh my God, I was like, Mike's back. And then when he got in the ring, it was slow snail pace. That was four years ago. He's not got any faster. The knees have got worse. So I don't know, man. I, I don't like it. I want Jake Paul to continue what he's doing. If it's a KSI fight, go that. If it's a Tommy Fury fight, go that way. I just don't understand it. What I do? Millions. Yeah, money. Everyone's going to make loads of money. But Tyson can't be broke. Surely Jake Paul can't be broke. So I, I don't know. You know the positive side of this card, and I, I think people have missed it. Manu Serrano and Katie Taylor are actually going to get paid what they're worth for oh, a they're, change. They're on the card? Yeah. They're on the... No, I'm joking. Look. Shush. You know what's funny? It was... Um, it was I, I kind of hated it for Katie because... Look, again, 
Katie's going to make more money than she's ever made, which is incredible, especially at the tail, tail end of their career. It's rumoured about six million each. Yeah, I kind of know the real number. It's close, it's close, close. Um, but there was a little kid that asked questions. I think he asked, there was a little kid that took the mic and I think he asked um, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, basically, how many people have they slept with? That's kind of roundabout way. He asked, how many bodies have you got on your record? And I was thinking of Katie up there. And I was thinking, what is Katie doing up there listening to this stuff? Of all people, of all the fighters, we know how religious Katie is. It's like, just don't like it. But I'm happy for her that she's making her money. She's making her money. It's a lot of money. She deserves it. She's done so much for the sport. And the manner as well. You're right. Apologies. I'll take that back. Both of them. And that's why I'm happy they're both fighting each other. There's a lot of talk about Amanda fighting Sky Nicholson and Katie maybe fighting someone else. I love that they're... And I hope it's their last fights, by the way. I really do. I don't want to see either fight again. I do and I don't because I want Raven Chapman to fight Amanda Serrano. That would be great. Yeah, but Amanda... What does Amanda get from fighting Raven? Yeah, probably nothing, to be fair. It literally is all Amanda coming to the table in this one. That's why I don't mind when Superstar fights Superstar. Um, but look, there are other names out there, potentially, for both. But this is the Super fight. The first fight was insanely good. I was there at Madison Square Garden for probably the best atmosphere I've experienced in a while. Snap. Yeah, it was so good. in Irish, Puerto Rican going at each other. It was just incredible. And hopefully we get a bit of that again. I don't think we will, but hopefully we do. Right, listen, I know you've got to go. Yes. You're a top man, as always. Enjoy the rest of the week. We always l- enjoy loving listening to you, my friend. Thank you, and uh, thank you for your time, as always. Not at all, not at all. We needed to do something. We've been here a few days. I've been super busy. But now, I'm letting loose. Come on, who's next? Oh, no one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate.